Hey everyone, my name is Matt. That's Donovan. Welcome back to our home renovation remodel edition series thing. All the fun adjectives. We're back outside again today, working on the uh, exterior, getting into the trim details, and uh, it's going to start really coming together. So one of the things we're adding this morning here is this uh, ladder frame, which is going to wrap in the porch here. This is going to do uh, one pretty interesting detail for us. So inside the house in the sunroom we have the drop in the head height and the interior here gets wrapped in the band board and it's a crown molding in here so it's kind of like a big uh, coffered ceiling kind of thing. As you come outside onto the porch you experience the exact same detail with the band board wrapping along the ceiling here and we'll have some crown in here too but this becomes essentially a cased opening into this post here, which is gonna get built out to uh, 12 by 12. So there'll be a, a, essentially a cased opening here as you come down the stairs and go out to the patio. And this over here will essentially look like a cased opening as well with that drop of the head height here all the way around. So it'll feel like a room or a natural extension of this room, which has the exact same details between the sunroom, the breakfast nook, and then the kitchen. So this is our way of segmenting out spaces and this detail carries through the entire project. So every room, which is its own kind of room, is established by a drop in the head height, the band board, and fully cased openings. First thing on the list today is we're gonna, I think we're just gonna kind of finish up the front area here, or I guess button it up. whatever you wanna call this face, the east face, get the top kind of buttoned up and finished up. And we're gonna do the trim on here. We're going to do the ladder frame on here first. Let me actually put the trim off. Here. We're just going to do this whole face first. Do the whole thing. Whole thing. Lots of trim Maybe, on here. Unless, unless we show. Oh, you wish. You're killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> so once again, here is a drawing of the exterior, which we're working towards here. So we'll have, basically, this is all, it's all trim. <laughs> all the way across. So this, uh, this post here essentially becomes a little cased opening here. And as you go into the porch area, this band board, which runs all the way across here, is also mirrored on the inside. So this is the head height here as you go up into the porch up the stairs. So in cross section here, there's our, our parapet, which is right behind me here, parapet. We're gonna have this nice build out of the trim work as you work up. So actually laying out a lot of the stuff is figuring out what, go, what piece goes on first and kind of how the, how, the, how the stacking goes. How it's gonna build out, Mr. Brain Man. It's gonna fill out. It's gonna fill out. <laughs> go go all the way up. So we're gonna have a. It's, there's a lot of trim. So we're gonna finish. 28 inches. Is that 28 inches up there? Well, we got 28 inches of. Between the oh sure. So we got from the the top of the windows to the top of the parapets, 28 inches, and that's all trim up there. So we're getting rid of some material. That's a window cutout that used to be. That window right there, <laughs> all winter. We got a whole bunch of cutoffs. You remember that piece came from there. It's the green one. It's the green one. Still, like that you remember that came from that window. Well, we had talked about how we should tell Lindsay that that's the paint color for the whole thing and we're just oh, gonna paint the whole okay. thing green. Okay. Okay. And then we walked over that way with it. I remember stupid things. It's a nice paint color. So we saved all the uh, the window cutouts, and we're going to use those to kind of piecemeal in the uh, the sheathing to. And that'll be a, that probably a lot of our build up too. And we'll build up with this, so it's all going to get reused. As if, much as possible. Even though we cut out like eighty percent of the wall. We're going to just put it back we're in pieces. Put it back up in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, already prepped all of our blocks for our next ladder frame. So we're using up all of this uh, pressure tree material. Uh, Donovan got a few extra boards when we built the, uh, the deck frame, so we're using those for the big pieces. All the offcuts from making the deck are in here as our little block pieces, and I pulled some of the pieces of the old deck out and chopped some of that up too for the blocking. So we we're using a lot of stuff right now, and look, it's uh, it's tick season. Yes, it is. <laughs> this got one off my neck. Oh, that's not a good place to find them.
You cut something wrong? Well, something's not straight around here someplace. I'm not even sure which it is. It's a long list. Here you go. All right, so we need the um, Tyvex tape, the roll of Tyvex, hammer tacker. Oh my gosh, this again. The whole, the whole crew. An impact with a T25 in it. Oh, we're getting the crew back together. Is the tacker out somewhere? Huh? Is it, is it out somewhere? I think it's inside. Okay. That'd be why it's not where it's supposed to be in this drawer. By default, it's a looking to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> that was my mistake. Um, I think, let's do this. I'm gonna move my truck. Let's bring our new uh, <laughs> cart. Our new cart. Donovan's boat trailer is a material cart on the off season. <laughs> hey, multi-use. So once again, we've talked about this quite a few times now. This is Boral, made from fly ash so it's completely inorganic pretty much you know insect resistant because it's nothing for them to eat it's rot resistant it can be in contact with ground or it doesn't masonry ma it doesn't matter so that's and it, and it takes paint you can yeah and you can and you can paint it's it's kind of like the perfect exterior trim product yeah at least that's how it's been sold it, to me it's <laughs> it makes a little brittle but yeah um it's not as brittle as hardy, but it's, it's a lot easier. I mean, this stuff we can... Oh yeah, and you can you can cut it, and you can route it, you can shape it. Yep. So it's... I mean, it's tough on your tools, but you can actually do it. Yep. As if it was wood. It, and yep. it will actually last, and it doesn't doesn't move like wood does. Especially or, outside. You know, yeah. Crack or warp or... The, interior, the hardy deteriorate if you get water... I mean, That's true, too, yeah. Like, the, the, yeah, the cement board has to be two inches outside of... Any like wet area, yeah, essentially like from a roof or from the floor or, or, or the grade or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this can be literally in contact. In contact doesn't matter. So you'll see us when we trim out this window here. These two pieces here are going to be in contact with our block, and that one's going to be basically Very, below grade. Yeah, it's going to be below grade. We'll fill that all the way up because that'll be up with rocks. So that piece will be below grade. This will be in contact with masonry. All good. Ain't no problem. No so this is some of what we need, but the majority of what we need to do all of this is getting delivered today. So, At least a chunk of it. Uh, well, yeah, a good, a much bigger chunk than this because we need a lot of it. And so we're we have one piece that we can actually put up right now because again layering. And then we can we can figure out what our layering is going to be because there's three there's three rows. I'm still doing my layering moves. <laughs> So this is the, which one's this one, top piece? That's the top casing. That's the head casing on the window. Right there. At least one of them. So we're going to put that one up first, and then it's probably going to be lunchtime. Or it's lunchtime. Or it's lunchtime now. <laughs> look at that. We break for lunch, and look what shows up. Got a nice big pallet, and a whole bunch of boral. Well, check it out. I got some more free corner protectors. There you go. <laughs> I'm determined to not buy these things. Okay, I got this in. Uh, like four inches. Take two. Keep going. What? What am I doing? What? What umbrella? I need one too. I can't move it. It's too much work. 
Really? Umbrella, if it's not raining. Okay, I'm kind of busy right now. He's holding a piece of wood up. Let me get your saw. It's sitting. Where the hell over there? Where the hell over there? As far as it could possibly be. Pretty much. <laughs> We like in like a. Yes, I'm a prince. Yes, I'm a queen. Uh huh. See, now this is so much better. Now I'm supposed to have a good look. Somebody's got to be the queen. Because I'm not, apparently. Exactly. I mean, it's a tough role, but I'm happy to take it on. You're very good at getting me like off on some other. I didn't do that one. Let's be real clear. Hey, Ralph Donovan Cummings here. What do you have in Domino's in the. Uh, of the exterior grade. We can at least start cutting with our, we're using it for boral. It's a fly ash trim. Once you hit those bits on something, they're they're done. No slop on those ones. You wanna do, you wanna do some slop on the other ones. Well, we'll do this one tight and then. What's your saying? Six, half a dozen something, another? Six, one and a half dozen the other. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one? I can't even tell when you hit it. Nope. It's like it's nothing. And so we are using some dominoes. So we'll be able to tie in our vertical pieces so they don't all end up. Wonky key because any little variation in here. Yeah, I'm trying to make this nice flush finish so the dominoes will help align the two pieces or this piece and every vertical piece. Little. We cut them now because we can't get can't get the machine in there. Yeah, right yeah you can't you can't get that back in there now. Even though we don't have any of the pieces to do any of it, we'll we don't we don't have the dominoes. Those we gotta get those still, and then we just basically ruined my eight millimeter bit. So that's never gonna cut wood again. Never. <laughs> but I'll cut boral. I'll cut boral all all day, all, day long. all week. Yep. We'll be here all week doing this. Okay, first piece of trim is up there. We're using these little tiny trim head screws. Very nice. This is very nice. And if you call back to our, the framing, we have those fake headers in here. We have that two by six on edge. So we have all, all the meat you could ever want to attach to. Basically, from the top of the window all the way up is solid. You can hit structure anywhere. Top uh, of the framing, the window frame. Then we have the fill piece. And then we have the top plates. Then we the have LVL. the LVL headers. And then we get the parapet. You you got too much stress in your life. And you, you just need to. You <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. Uh, should I run it upside down? Floppy. Make sure you cut the bevel the right way. Well, I'm just trying to remember the bevel. <laughs> what it was. <laughs> you kill me. I think I could do 10. 10? I would guess 10. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. Fifteen and three quarters, eighteen. I guess as long as there's somewhere in that area. Yeah, because we'll um, we'll match up whatever. Yeah, we'll just put the board up there. there. Yeah. And I know how dominoes work. You know they're pretty complicated. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh huh. Uh huh. So then out here. It's going to hang down, and that's where we got to try to get get it here, get a nice clean here. 
then try and, and then, get it to go over there somehow. Yeah, so we'll probably have to like check our dimensions here and over there and in. You got more fussy stuff. And then try to get this line in. I was just thinking, you know, it's not fussy enough. Ah, spam risk, yes. Your level, your level, your level again. Oh yeah. I really don't like that level, do I? I'm gonna go over there and just put a, throw a shim under there. I got one here. I planned for this. Oh, be careful. Can you just there. step right there? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. <laughs> it's a little too cantilevered. There, how's that look? I can't tell. Probably doesn't make a lot of difference. You wanna go more? Go more. Or you wanna go down and sight down? I can hold it here. You wanna go sight? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a screw at the bottom here. I can't. <gasps> <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> that was your heart. There's, a, there's nothing oh. to grab. <laughs> it looks like the whole thing does this. It's low in the middle? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. When you hook over the top, what do you got? 17 and like 7 and 16s. Yeah. yeah Almost right. a half. I think it's okay. I think it, it seems like it's got a little bit. It's like low in the middle, but not, not discernibly. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, I'm only because I'm looking for it, but it does kind of come down a little in the middle as far as straight lines go. Yeah, I'm so far away, I can't tell. That perspective on the house, you're never going to be able to sight straight down there. I can't see if it's straight, but I will see if it's waving. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it's it's so far down there, like you can't really make it out though. But it is better. That is better. Yeah, when you pull down, it's better. You want to pull a string on it? We can pull a chalk line off the top and in like up here. In a quarter. This just gotta come up. It's got to come up right here. Is it, is it doing this? Is it actually bowed that way? Yep, I think this is. I think this has got a bow in it. It's got to bring the middle up. Yep. No more. Okay. More better? Much, much, much be better. <laughs> actually straight? That's a lot better. You happy? Yeah. Okay. That's what matters. That's all that really matters is that I'm happy. <laughs> We got to do eight and a quarter is our next piece. And then we got to figure out what our filler, how much of a. Did you do this line on purpose? Because that's what that is. What? <laughs> it's like, you know, just pick some arbitrary number. What? <laughs> where, yeah. did, where would you come up with that at? I don't know what you're talking it's about here. like you actually know what the hell you're doing. That's the scary part. <laughs> All right, there's our first band of trim along the top. Like always, first course <laughs> gives you the most heartache. And then everything just gets stacked up from here. So next we need to start working on our build out to start stepping out every layer. So we're gonna use the uh, temporary roof decking plywood that we had up there all winter. It's a big good use for that. So we're gonna rip this into the strips we need Wiggle up onto the wall, and then we'll put the actual borel on top of that. They can use the stuff again. Yeah. yeah. Everyone says we waste too much. We're just reused about 40 times. There's a, make a, a screw head right here. Oh, in in oh. case that's in your path. 17 and what? 17. Literally smack dab 17. <laughs> that, that screw had a bad day. You got that? Want to help? I got it. I got it. All I right. got it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I got it. <laughs>
40, one half. That's my piece. That would be your piece. That's uh. my piece. Oh. Can you come push this ladder out while I'm standing on it? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Thank you. Good? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's clamped in there and everything. Here we go. I didn't bring my gun though. Okay, I can't help you with that, dude. I mean, you could, but... I'm not going to. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the answer. All right, that takes care of our uh, filler piece, at least for this first or next course. Piece on here, another filler, another piece. the same thing though right past it or he's gonna run long for now i'm gonna run long for now 15 feet okay we're fine it's looking like a like it's like a detail thing kind of isn't it i like it you like it <laughs> A lot. Oh boy. Why don't you tack those two up and then give me a length for the last one? Okay. Forty and a half. Got enough meat back there? Uh, I think we got enough to ho hold on to it. All right, here we go. Done. Ah. Instant workbench. What did I do with my coffee cup? I don't know. I wasn't watching today. I've been a bad helper. It's the shadow that shows you the wave. Yep. Well, and that's got to get pushed in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you can see that it's like, and then it waves right here. This. Yep. That's why. Yep. As soon as it comes in, it... <laughs> then it's fine. But that, that's the, the shadow shows you. It's like, oh, it's yeah, not it's... quite there yet. Nope. Two of you yet? Yeah, about three inches. Keep coming. There you go. Lots of screws now. We're done. It's official. Yep. I've got them about every 16 on the bottom. One top, one bottom on each row. All right, so I think we're done up here. Third floor going down. Where's that vent? Where's our vent? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Ah. Okay, that takes care of the top band detail, triple stack detail up top. Based on this face corner, you got to do up there still. And we're going to hop down here and get the sill board installed. So we made that, I don't know how many episodes ago, at least 10 episodes ago. 20 foot sill board, continuous, corner all the way across. That's going on next. Finally. Like, probably like two months later, after we made Because <laughs> we, were, we were doing stuff when it was cold and rainy. We and made them snowy. before we did this. So this, this piece here, that's going to come down here and go all the way around and wrap all the way. <laughs> you got a short one there. Be one 20 footer and then the rest get chopped. Are you going through the window? Going through the wall. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's smart. So we're going to pick the best remaining 20 footer of the two. And that one's going to go up on the uh, long wall. And then pancakes coming in. Hey, pancake. This is going to be really close. <laughs> I'm slightly worried right now. There we go. Just barely, barely enough here. An extra half an inch. <laughs> After lunch, sailboard. Oh. Don't put your fingers Don't put in your there. Don't put your finger in there. So this piece of sill is the one that's gonna go on here under these windows and it laps over right here. It's gonna lap over the, uh, the door casing, which is right there. A little long. What are you doing? How's that? Hair long and you're tight in the back. This is pretty open in the front. You want to adjust this miter? Yeah. That should be enough. You take a little bit out of the back, just... that'll shorten it up a little bit too and it'll go in. That's, that's way better. Part of it is where this pushes out. Yep. So. That's good. How are you doing right there? That is. That good. works. Yeah. Oh, done. Done. You know what? No screws. No screws. Hidden fastener system. Yeah. It's almost like you've been doing this for a while or something. I found a tool belt on the side of the road last week. <laughs> that's what got you started? Yeah. I was holding a sign up. <laughs> we'll work for food. Specifically Cook cookies. cookies. Specifically cookies. <laughs> Nothing but cookies, but yes. That's still good? No. I'm thinking no. I've got a total boat epoxy. Yeah. 
And I hit it. I slip them? No, I hit the other one going the other way. Next, we're gonna do all these vertical pieces and they all get ripped out of uh, wider stocks. My butt's ringing. It is. Your butt. So that one works good for that one. Uh, give me one that's, that's a little bit. Good for that one. It's just, I need three of them this size. Okay. And then one's going to be a little bit wider. Yeah, I'll make the next, I'll make two more like that. Yep, just make two more and then the other one's just a little bit. How much wider do you want it? Four and a sixteenth or an eighth? Let's do an eighth. Okay. Okay, there's those. I think we're gonna rip these corner pieces next. You got a number for those? I'm getting a number for you. Oh, we're in the process of getting the number you are. I don't either. You want me to cut the one around the corner? Try eight and a half. One eight and three quarters, one eight and a half. Eight and three quarter, eight and a half, four, five eighths. Piece of three quarter, six foot by two and seven. Getting there. I've got to have that piece in first. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I can go up, I mean, I can put it in temporary to get the corner set. Yeah, because that's gonna come back the thickness of the... We gotta drop down the whatever... Whatever this cap pieces are. Yep. I think it's a cap, underside cap, under cap. Under cap. Whatever, the, the ceiling piece goes up. <laughs> Thank you. The ceiling <laughs> piece goes in first and then the corner board comes up and butts up into it. So this is a little, this is three quarter shorter than this side, essentially. Okay. I guess we do it, we can temp it for now. Yeah, we can get, I mean, I think we get temp in there, just get, get this corner set, and then we get, this can just pop off and when we get up there. Okay. Starting to look like. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's starting to turn into a giant kind of mass. It very much is. This is going to help break it up at the bottom. Yeah. Because right now it's like... <laughs> it's kind of top, it's a little top heavy. It is <laughs> very top heavy. Need some stuff on the bottom to bounce it out. <laughs> it's good here. I just need to take a little bit more. A little wider at the top. Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. Today, I think we're gonna finish up the uh, the east ish. Most of it. Most of this east wall. The scaffolding should go away. So yesterday we were able to get most of the prep work done, so all of our pieces are cut to 
sized, ready to go on. You saw us do the corner pieces. Those are all cut and prepped, ready to go on permanently as well. So all the prep work was done yesterday. So now today we can just slam it all up there and you get it all put in and kind of move on. Fill in holes. Fill in holes. All the fun stuff. So I am going to cut the domino mortises into the tops of all the vertical pieces first. Get those out of the way. I think uh, do some hole filling up there. Slam these guys on there. Is that it for the scaffold after that? Oh, and then we'll get this ugly thing out of the way yeah. so you can see the beauty behind it. It's going to be you staying behind the window. You're the beauty behind it. Too you got, early? You got issues, dude. <laughs> I'm in a mood. You better watch out. Wow. It's Friday. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's, dude, this could go south real quick. Oh, it's going to. <laughs> we got dogs sleeping in the dirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day for Friday. It's in. You just gotta go. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, that one's easier. Okay. Uh, no, there you go. Move it down. All right. Get up. Get all the way in. That's it now. Slide it in a little wall there. There we go. Those dominoes make this end up nice and flush, especially over here where we have the nailing flange just in behind the windows, which kind of messes things up a little bit. So the dominoes make sure that things end up nice and flush in this plane. Uh, we're using the exterior, the SIPO dominoes, and really they're, just, they're for alignment. They're not glued in or anything. Again, just to keep it nice and flush on the face so we don't have any weird stuff going on. And then Donovan's going back with the filler getting all of our screw holes filled in. And uh, what's the stuff you like, this stuff? Ready patch. Ready patch. All right, it takes care of all the upper stuff. The scaffold's coming down now, and we'll carry on. Before scaffold, and then after scaffold. So we're going to try and finish up today with the the lower frame and panel thing, <laughs> whatever we're calling that. So this detail down here, we need to add the panel stock to this face here because our corners go on first and then we can fill in all of the uh, rails and styles and everything on this side. So one more piece of cement board, I think. Nope, there's still more. There's more. There's still more. <laughs> Another piece of cement board. And then we'll move back to fly ash.
Corners. Corners. Yeah, just tack them up. Just put one screw in the top. Okay, the last piece we need for the front here is the bottom band which is gonna get a bevel on top so any water coming down will have a, have a better chance of shedding off the uh, panel onto the band. So we're gonna go in the shop and make that. You got that? Don't break. <laughs> don't got it anymore. I don't got it. Okay, we got two pieces. <laughs> so these are 16 feet long. We're going right into the house with this. There's a little hack for the shop uh, layout. I can slide the table saw over and have, oh, I don't know what that is, like 20 something feet of infeed, oh, there's a lot. 30 feet of infeed, all, yeah. all the way to my desk. And then straight out the door. And then straight out the door, yeah. I go all the way, all the way back in here in the hallway to my desk. And then straight out the door. That'll work. Down a little bit. All right, there. Alive? What time is it? 3.05. That's it? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to hang out, I mean... I gotta get my trailer hooked up, we gotta pick up and everything. We'll do a live. This is like in a really good spot. And then Monday, we can start on the other side. So there we go, there is the east wall. Pretty well done, still a few details left on the basement level. He's been trimming around these windows, finished the parge coating, and we have the the cap and the railing to go up there, but for the most part, no more Tyvek on the east wall, and it's uh, starting to look like something. So next time I'll go around the corner and start filling in the porch area and uh, do all that. So, thank you as always for watching. I uh, greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the home, renovation, addition, remodel, what you might call it, thingamabobber, please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.